is up everybody this is ducky randoms and i'm gonna show you kind of a different video but not really so a lot of my fans are pop slots fanatics and they like to play the uh they like to play the risky games and i assume that translates to the fact that they're not allowed to gamble well i'm going to show you a way to gamble in every single state in the u.s and i'm going to show you on top of that a way to make money instead of losing it through the stock system all right, this is kind of a different video, but I'm gonna break it down really simple for you. So as you can see, I just started doing this. I made $33 in the last week, and it is Wednesday currently. So uh, I had a little bit of a downturn here, but honestly, I'm not too upset about it because of the fact that I had this huge peak right here, all the way at $60, and now I'm down to 31. But honestly, if I can make 2.69% in, in half a week, I'm pretty happy. So you're probably wondering, how do you do this? Well, first, I'm gonna go over the basics for anybody out there who doesn't really know the stock system. So typically, so when someone gets into the stocks, they go into a company, let's just say Ford, Fortune 500 company. It's doing a little bad right now, but that's because of the coronavirus. Before the coronavirus, it wasn't too and doing too shabby, around $10 a share. That ain't bad. It's at $4 a share. Coronavirus hit it hard. I understand. I'm not saying invest in this company. I'm using it as an example because the numbers are low and most people need to get into a stock at a low price. You can do this with any stock that you trust. I prefer Fortune 500 companies. So, Normally, when you want this stock, you're going to go down, you're going to be like, okay, the market cap is $19 billion. That means they have a lot of money, right? Dividend yield, that means they pay dividends, which is great. That just means every quarter they give you money for owning the stock. I always look at the 52-week low because, in my opinion, it's a possibility it'll hit that low again or even go lower. So I always keep that in mind. All right, and then I just kind of scroll through the news. It doesn't really matter any. Uh, the 19 analysis ratings, yeah, buy, hold, sell. It just kind of lets you know what the market's doing. You can read the bull and the bear. It's always like, hey, this is the best news. This is the worst news. And then the earnings statements. Earnings statements is actually smart because every quarter it tells you, hey, this is what we expected. This is what actually happened. If it's in a positive range, that means you can expect that stock to trend upward over the year. If it's in the negative, you can expect it to continue going negative so if you look right here this is before the coronavirus it was at 0.21 percent after it's at negative 0.23 percent so normally this is a very profitable company okay that's not too bad so what i am going to show you now is how people normally buy the stocks Normally, they go in here and they go, hey, I want 30 shares. And they're like, oh, I have to pay two or 60 shares. Sorry. Let's put that 30. And they're like, I have to pay $146. Ugh, that's terrible. Or for you people with like $500, they go, I want 100 shares. And they have to pay 487 And then they sit there and then they wait and then they go, oh, no. I hope it goes up. But what if it goes down? I'm going to start losing money. And that's what they do. Well, what else can we do? Well, let's do this. We'll go up to market order, and then we put in a market order. And we say, hey, don't show this again. All right. So we now tell them, hey, oh, sorry, not market order, limit order. I am so sorry. All right. So we go into limit order, and we don't show this again. All right. So we say, hey, uh, it's at 487 right now. I will only buy it at $4. And we go on to the next one. And it says, hey, that's a low stop price, blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah. Oh. Oh, wait, sorry. This is on the uh, buy side. Ugh. Sometimes I hate this app. It doesn't matter. Honestly, none of this matters. So uh, we wanted to stop limit order. But anyways, uh, so we want it to trigger if it rises to blank right? Or we want it to trigger if it lowers to blank. We don't really care on either side of this because all this is, is you saying, Hey, if it gets to this number, I want to buy it. Or if it gets to this number, I want to sell it. So buy, buy low, sell high, makes sense, whatever. But what we want to do is find a way to make money because who can predict this? All right. So in the last week, it went from $5 all the way down to 480, back up to 508. 
Okay, and look, look, this was in 3.40 to 10 o'clock a.m., right? So the previous night to the opening of the next morning. Who could have predicted that, right? Nobody can. That's the thing about this. Nobody can predict that. So how can we make money off the stocks? It's a more reliable way. Well, we could have put that limit order on there and just hope for the best, rolled the dice. If it never got as low as we wanted, we'd never own the stock. But if it did get that low and then continue going lower, we'd lose money. So let's do this. Let's go into the options. So first off, you're going to check your date. So I'm going to go ahead and put this little arrow right here, let you know that May 8th is the date that I'm selecting. Okay. So May 8th. We click on May 8th, and now we're in this buy side, all right? So we have all these buy calls and buy puts, and it's confusing, but it's not really. It really isn't, and I'm going to explain it really quick on the buy side because buy side is like playing the lottery. Nobody really wins on the lottery. It's very low chances, but if you win, you win big, and everyone's like, Ah, I won big. And then the sell side is like being an insurance agent. And on the insurance side, they always make money. And then eventually they go, oh, no, I have to pay out a little bit. But it's not really losing them any equity because someone's always paying them. All right, so let's start with the buy side. You're a gambler. I understand you like pop slots. You like going to the casino. You like spending that money. All right, so we have the buy calls. So, on a buy call, it's very simple. So, you estimate that that is going to go up, right? You want to buy into the stock. You want it to go up. So, you go, okay, it's at 487. If it rises above 550, I will buy that and I will take the profits anywhere from 550 and up. Okay, that seems like a great deal, right? It's just like putting in a mark order. But... If it doesn't rise to 550, you don't have to buy it, okay? That's what that means, right? Buying a call. You're buying the opportunity to buy it off somebody else. But here's the difference. You are paying a premium on that. Why would anybody want to do that? Well, if you know anything about bullish and bearish, like a lot of people want to buy it when it starts upticking, but they don't want to be stuck with it if it doesn't go before. So what they'll do is they'll say, hey, I'll buy a call at a lower price. All right, you notice the premiums are going up on the side. Well, now I can say, hey, if it's at $4.50, uh, I will buy it. It's already above that. So on Friday, if it's still above that, you will buy that. But you have to pay 39 cents a share. Now this is where it kind of scares people because contracts, which is what all these are, are done 100 at a time, 100 shares. So you're technically paying $450 and you're paying $39. But keep in mind, if that rises anywhere up, you keep all the profits because you sell it immediately. Okay, executes May 8th. Keep this in mind. It doesn't mean that immediately, as soon as it goes above that, you own these stocks. It executes May 8th. All right, so let's look at the buy puts. All right, buy puts, you're still gambling. Okay, but this is the reverse gambling. This is, you have 100 shares of this, all right? And you are worried that that stock market's gonna go down. So you're buying insurance. You're saying, hey, if it drops below $4.50, which is right here, then what I'm going to do is going to sell it to you for that price. So it doesn't matter if it gets all the way down here to $3, they have the right to sell it to you at $4.50 on that Friday, okay? Which is that Friday right there. But they have to pay two cents premium. Seems like a fair deal for them. They're giving you $2 for their 100 shares at $4.50. Okay, you're probably wondering, what if it never drops below that? Well, they keep their shares and they're happy because they didn't lose too much money and it only cost them $2. So you're probably wondering, how is this even profitable? This sounds like a risk. I mean, look at that probability. Ugh, that is terrible. Look at that probabilities, right? Probability of actually earning money, especially as you go up, that probability keeps getting lower and lower and lower. 
We want to make money. We're not looking at these kind of solid investments. Unless you're a high-risk gambler, you don't want all of this, right? I mean, it looks exciting. You buy it at 450 or you sell it at 450 Okay, so let's go into the sell side. So we're going to start with selling a put. All right, so selling a put, you're looking at this price right here. $4.50. At $4.50, if this drops below that on this date right here, then that means you automatically buy it at $4.50. It doesn't matter if it's at $3.50, $4, or whatever, right? Kind of sounds like a bum deal, but they're paying you two cents a share. So your break even is right there, $4.48. So as long as it doesn't go below $4.48, oops you make a profit, right? Makes sense, right? Well, some of these have some ridiculous, ridiculous, like these are terrible premiums. I wouldn't do it, but it's a small stock and a lot of you wanna do that. But hey, this is $2. You can make $2 and it's halfway through the week already. Okay, that's pretty cool, right? Well, what if, what if we go above that line? You see that profitability chances, 80, 90, 95% chance of profit, 49, 48, and it's looking a lot better than that other side. Well, here's the thing. So let's say you expected this stock to go up for whatever reason. I don't know your reason. And you wanted to have a bigger risk, right? Well, you see that 18 cents a share. At 100 shares, that's 18 bucks for the week. That's pretty good, right? But here's the problem. It's already at 487. And this Friday, if it's still below that $5, you automatically own it. So what's your break even? 482. It has to stay below 482 for you to make money. Okay? So keep that in mind. Your break even point, you make money. So what happens on this date right here? Okay? This date right here. If we hit May 15th and it is below whatever you put your put price at with the share price, it automatically executes and you now own 100 shares of that stock at that price. The same thing as you would do if you put in a market order. So why would you want that? Well, think about it. You can make two cents right now. You were already looking at buying the stock at 487, right? But now you're buying it at 450 and they're paying you two cents a share. So technically, you're getting it for a huge discount. You're technically buying it for 448 if it strikes on you when you were willing to pay 487. That just sounds smart to me. What happens when you own it? Because now you have 100 shares and it's already gone down in value and you're worried now. You're like, oh, now I have a, a thing that it already made, made me money right here, but I think it's still going to go down. How can we make money? Well, we go to the sell call side. Sell call side only works when you have 100 shares of it or more. Okay, because keep in mind, contract, which is all of these, is 100 shares. So now what we're going to do is we're going to sell a call. Well, we know our break-even price from the sell put side, sorry, was $4.48 on this one. So what we do now is on the sell call side, we just have to make sure that this price right here stays over that. So we said $4.88, right? So that means we would want to sell it at $5, okay? But look at the premium. We're also getting paid six cents a share. So we're really selling it at 506, okay? So doing just some quick math for the sell put side, we were at 448 on the buy, right? four dollars and 48 cents on the buy and then on the call side we were at 506 so we already made 18 cents so but that really translates to 18 dollars because keep in mind that's 100 shares 18 dollars doesn't sound like much but keep in mind that's 18 dollars and it only changed 50 cents in the market, okay? 
it didn't go any higher or lower than 15 or 50 cents in the market it could go down and you still made money it could go up and you still made money so you're probably thinking what happens if it never reach, reaches it cuz we said on the sell put side if it reaches this price right here we automatically get it right on the sell call side if it reaches this price right there they automatically get it but we bought it for this price it went up 50 cents so we actually made our original 18 cents and another 50 on top so we made 68 cents a share or roughly 68 dollars between the two 68 dollars on a $500 investment, that's just good money, right? But you're also worried. What if it never hits that $5, right? It's at 487 right now. Let's say it stays 487 the entire week. You're trying to sell it at $5. You're, they're giving you six cents. Well, the next week, if it's still at 487, this premium is still gonna be the same and you still own these shares because you never actually sold them. So that means you can make another six cents the next week which means our break-even price keeps going lower and lower and lower and lower and lower the more weeks we have it. And as long as our number right here doesn't tank below the point where we can make these contracts, we will always make money on our shares. Just keep in mind, you always want your break-even point to be lower than that number right there whatever your number is that you're selling at. Because if it doesn't, then you're gonna lose money. So you just need to do some clever math. How do you do it? Okay, you take your premium, you subtract it from this on both sides. So you did it on the put side right here. We took how much we sent, which makes that 448. We now own that for $4.48. We go back to the call side, and then we take our six cents and we minus that again because we took this so now we're at 482 so now we just need this number just not go below 482 right and then if it goes another week we get another six cents off and now we're at 476 and we can keep going and keep going and keep going now the reason why i was showing forward is just so that way you guys can kind of see what's going on i decided not to do ford i decided to do american airlines this week and if you guys know about what's going on in American Airlines, it is scary. Look at that. Ugh. Went from $30 down to $10, and right now it's at $9.18. That's scary. That's scary, scary, right? But here's the thing. Look at these premiums. Look at that premium for a sell put. I mean, it's at $9.18 right now. Currently, I have this one, and it's at $31. They're going to give me $31 at the end of the week to buy this stock at $9. Putting my break even all the way down to $869. Okay? Let's say I wanted to be even more safe. Look at these chances of profit that we're looking at, right? Oh, sorry. Chance of profit, 78, 87, 94, 97, 97. Look, that premium's still three cents. Look at that. So they're willing to pay me three cents if it drops all the way down to $7 and I own it at $7. If it never gets to $7, I keep that three cents. And I have a 95% almost chance of making a profit. That's amazing, right? Let's just say the worst happens and I own it all the way down at $7, right? So all we have to do is say this share price is actually $7 rather than $9. Go up and look. A premium of 31 cents on top of it. So if it gets all the way down to $7 and I own it at $7 and they're paying me for that, I can sell it 50 cents higher for 31 cents off the share. And look at that chance of profit. Let's say I didn't even want to do that. Let's say I want to make a bigger profit. We could go up here to from the strike price, which is right there at $9. We could go up $2, right, to 11 92 chance, and they're willing to pay me $0.05, cents, which means this entire way right here, I would gain $2 plus the $0.05 cents plus the original $0.03 cents they pay me on the back end. 
And if it moved that much, like I was hoping it would, I make $2.08 a share or $208 in that week off a $1,000 investment. Not even, a $700 investment. But that's just best case scenario. That just makes sense to me. So you're probably wondering how you can get into this. And you're probably seeing that I'm on Robinhood, right? If you guys want Robinhood, just let me know. Uh, I would love to share it with you. If you guys get it and I get it, we both get a free stock and that's just beneficial on the both sides. So if you guys do decide to go into Robinhood and play around with it, go ahead. Just look at your options. Look at Fortune 500 companies. Pick any of them. In fact, I put a list of Fortune 500 companies just to watch them trend, right? Just to see what my price range is. Now, keep in mind, you have to multiply these all by 100, okay? And some of them are scary. Some of them are not. But what we're looking for is not these sharp ups and downs. What we're looking for is these trails. So you see this one, how it's just kind of trailing towards the end here? Royal Caribbean, you see how it kind of doesn't go up and down for the entire day. We want one that does that for an entire week. So let's find one of these that hasn't really changed too much. AT&T. Let's say you have $3,000 worth to invest. Look, it's got a downtrend, but it changed from 30 to 28. So let's just say if we did at the beginning of the market, right, a $2 less on a sell put, okay, it's at 28. So let's go down to the 26 or 27. So since that's uh, since technically it's 29, they're paying us three cents a share, and we would only at 27. What's the scariest this has been at? Oh, hey, look, 26, almost right at that strike price. You can do this with any stock, guys. Just always make sure you're checking all your details. So I'm going to show you one last part. So let's say you guys decide to bite off on this. All right. And you can see my today was up, down, up, down, up, down out of profit. But over my week, it's really good. So what I'm going to show you is the put I have. Okay. Don't pay attention to this negative five. Okay. That is if I was to sell it back right now, it'd be worth negative five. But at the end of the week, it is worth 26. Okay. That's great right? So let's look at this week's kind of changing on this $9 put. Keep in mind that right now this stock is worth, ooh, let's go into here. This stock is worth $9.18 right now, okay? So at the beginning of the week, that stock was worth $0.10, cents, right? It came closer to the strike price, and look, it went all the way up to $0.60. Cents. Now, if I had executed it at that point, then my break-even would have been $8.40, okay? And I would have gotten paid $60 for this, all right? So let's just keep going. Look at that. It goes all the way down to $0.31. Cents. That's pretty good. If this happens to not hit my mark of $9, which it probably will, but I'm okay with that. If it doesn't hit that mark... I make 26 cents a share, plus I get this for a discount at $9, where I would have bought it at $10 at the beginning of the week when I was looking at it. So I'm already buying it at a discount, getting paid for that discount, and if it never hits that, I get to keep that. I just get to keep it. So, knowing that you get to keep it, and knowing that you can do this, all right. I want to I want to definitely lock this down to let you guys know. Okay? That you can use Robinhood and you got free trading and all that. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just using Robinhood myself, which is why I like it. Okay? And if you use that little code down at the bottom, it helps me, it helps you. I get a stock, you get a stock. Everybody's happy and that's just free to you, right? Now Robinhood has some uh benefits that I like about it. It's uh nice and easy to navigate it keeps uh it keeps a good eye on your money it's got margins if you're into that as well and if you guys like these kind of videos i'll go over margins and different ways to make a little bit more extra money for this that's up to you guys but uh yeah if you guys uh, type in that link down below then uh it gives me a free stock gives you a free stock everyone's happy if you don't want to use mine please do find somebody else that has a robin hood at least somebody should get that free stock because robin hood 
has free trades, free everything, but they make their money off of uh, money that's sitting idle in your account. So that's why they do this, you get a free stock, I get a free stock kind of thing. But anyways, uh, I've been... This has been Ducky Randoms, and I, I hope you guys like this kind of video. If you like these videos, please comment down below. If you do use my link, please let me know what you got in your stock. I'm very interested to see what you got. I mean, there's a possibility somebody can get a $250 stock for free, so that's pretty awesome. But please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to see you guys start making money. And if you guys want more tips, hints, tricks on this kind of gambling, you know, let me know in the comments down below. I'm probably going to steer my uh, channel closer to this rather than doing uh, casino bets anymore because, I mean, I just like money and pop slots is getting expensive, if I'm being honest, and it's way too time consuming. But this, making money, yeah, I'm down for that. Anyways, this has been Ducky Randoms, and uh, I would like to welcome you all to the flock. Bye.